Hey everyone and welcome back to Health Trust TV. And for today's cooking segment, the topic is eating fresh and eating local. So we brought in Chef Chris Hallahan from the Luxury Box in Campbell to show us how to do just that. So Chef Chris, what kind of fresh local meal will you be making for us today? Uh, we're going to be doing a California green salad. This oh. is going to have uh, some local product. Everything's going to be within, within 150 miles. Perfect. So we can't get much more fresh than a, than a local salad. So what are some of the ingredients that we have in here? So uh, we have a mixture of greens here. This one here is going to be uh, kale uh, with a variety of uh, butter lettuce and also iceberg okay. to soften it a little bit. Uh, we have some baby arugula here. And these are actually micro um, radish greens. Oh, wow. Okay. So that's a little variation on that. Perfect. So what kind of beans, are those some, uh, some green beans over there? What do we got these, there? These are actually um, sugar snap peas. Sugar snap peas. And we have some cacao nibs, which okay. are um, very high in antioxidants, um, as well as a good uh, source of fiber. Okay. Um, this is our balsamic, aged age balsamic glaze here. Mm -hmm. um, we have a garlic confit, and this, these items over here are gonna kind of transfer into the dressing. Okay, gonna... and this is all local food. Absolutely. Perfect, so we got some great kale. We know that has good vitamin A and vitamin C, other great greens, so why don't we get into how to prepare this food? Great, so we, uh, we pre-cut these items here, and basically we're gonna get all of our ingredients mixed in this bowl. Mm -hmm. Again, this is the kale, and the butter lettuce, and the iceberg. We're gonna do a little bit of the baby arugula. This is gonna add a nice little spicy note, little uh, different variation and uh, flavor and profile. Okay. Um, the radish here is also gonna have a little spice to it, a little bit of bite, uh, a little bit of citrus actually in, in the actual uh, flavor. Okay. Within. And they're also pretty, so we like to add those. Great, so not only is it fresh and local, it's a salad, so it takes very minimal amount of time to make, right? Absolutely. Perfect, so that's important as well, quick and easy. And then we have our sugar snaps here. Okay. And what I like to do with these, I already pre-veined uh, pre them off on one side, mm -hmm. um, and just do a nice angle bias cut on it. Okay. Kind of open it up a little bit. It creates a nice texture, a little bit of crunch to the salad. And we'll go ahead and get these going real quick here. All right. So as you're chopping those up, uh, what kind of salad dressing are we gonna put on? I find that the, one of the tougher parts of a salad is that the dressing's usually store-bought and not very healthy. So are you gonna be showing us actually how to make our own dressing? Yeah, we're gonna do the dressing 100% from scratch. Perfect. Other than the fact that I had the balsamic glaze already reduced down. Okay, awesome. Um, so we'll get on that next here in a second. So we'll go ahead and throw a little bit of the cacao nibs in here. And okay. these are completely raw, so if we do have some raw food fans out there, um, this is an option. There are some cooked items in here, but there's always a variation to keep it completely raw. Perfect, awesome. And then this here is going to be our blood orange. And what we're going to do with this guy is we're going to cut some Supremes out of it. Wow, that looks awesome. Look at that color. Very nice. So is there any difference uh, between, is there a specific reason you choose the blood orange over a regular orange? It, it adds a little bit of one, just the, the appeal. Yeah. Um, the flavor profile is pretty consistent with your typical orange. Mm -hmm. uh, a little more citrusy, mm -hmm. um, but it also has kind of an underlying sweet note to it. So it just pairs well with the items we have here. Okay, great. Yeah. And that's a local, locally grown fruit. Absolutely. That's yeah. awesome. Before uh, we turn this place into a concrete jungle, it used to be orchards. Everywhere, yeah, yeah, so. that, you're right, you're right. So one of the benefits about the, the locally grown food is you start to develop and build up immunity with all these pollens that you get as opposed to getting our foods and, or our vegetables and fruits from Mexico or Ecuador. So eating locally um, not only is great for us, it also promotes uh, local businesses and local farmers, which is really important. Absolutely. The fresher, the better, right? I agree. Okay. So, so pull as you're chopping up that one, here. yeah. yeah. I see some avocado and apple there as well. So again, local local products, right? Absolutely. Perfect. So Granny Smith apple adds a little uh, little bite. Um, just brings that variation. The avocado just kind of balances everything out. Okay. So the Granny Smith, that's green, right? So we're going for a little bit more of the that green apple, right? Right. Okay. So you chop those up a lot quicker than I would. <laughs> so we're moving quick. That's good. Avocado, healthy fats again. Nice and quick. So the fats in the avocado, um, a lot of people don't realize how important fats actually are, right? We've been traditionally kind of trying to stay away from fats, but when you can get a fat from avocado, coconut oil, olive oil, that uh, is not only really healthy for us and heart healthy, but it actually helps create satiation, right? Keeps us full, right? So balances out the blood sugar. We're not looking for a snack, you know, an hour after we eat, right? 
So a little salt and pepper. Makes sense. A little salt and pepper there. And then okay. uh, let me get the dressing going here. All right. So we have a mixture of the blood orange, um, the balsamic, uh, which I juiced prior. Okay. And then we have a garlic confit. And what we're going to do is try not to make too much of a mess here. And okay. And we're incorporating a fat into an acid. Um, it's going to be a nice balanced dish. Get that garlic in there. It's going to really soften it up a little bit. A little salt and pepper again. Very easy, very simple. Anybody can do this at home. You can make it in a big batch and store it yourself. Yeah, and how long would that actually store for? You can store this for a week and a half, no oh, problem. Wow. Or you can actually freeze it if you like and hold oh, it for okay. even longer. Great. Well, it's starting to smell really good. Oh, wow, look at that. So we're just going to... That looks awesome. Pour a little over the top here. Uh -huh. That looks amazing. Well, we're just going to use our hands, toss it up. Toss it up a little bit, mix everything in there. So everything's looking fresh. It's pretty much raw, so we've, we've you know, kept all the vitamins and nutrients. All right, over our, get a little uh, serving dish. Wait here. Yeah. Nice. High and tight, prep, wow. uh, in terms of presentation. All for, right. If you want to impress your date at home. I'm going to grab a fork, because I think I'm going to have to give this a shot. And then before I let you do that, I'm going to put a little balsamic glaze okay. on top here. Wow, look at that. That looks amazing. Wow. So as I test this out, is, is there anything else um, that we can swap out if it's not in season? Um, yeah, I mean, you can do a variation, especially on the dressing. Mm. Um, we can uh, absolutely uh, move things in and out. Um, your local farmer's market is always a good source. Perfect. You know it's going to be local. You know yep. it's going to come from the local farmers, like you discussed earlier. Um, it's going to provide a, you know, a, a variation off of that. Perfect. Sure. We want to thank Chef Chris from the Luxury Box in Campbell for coming in today. Don't go anywhere because coming up next is our fitness expert, Ryan, who's going to go through some great workout routines. But before we get to Ryan, we're going to throw it to Dr. Werner, who's going to go over a really important health message for everybody at home.